perfect point, uh, perfect flush, perfect shooting. Great job to both Matt, Long Gone Madison and Dave Hughes. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Hi friends. Dylan and I want to welcome you to a new season of Bird Dogs at Field, your complete video magazine on upland bird hunting and bird dog training. Enjoy the show. Hi folks, your dog works hard for you. You need to return that respect by feeding a premium dog food. Native dog food, I feel, is the best dog food on the market today for the canine athlete. It comes in four levels to meet the stress and activity level of your dog. It has the right uh, calorie, the right fat, and the right protein content in each level. Treat your dog well, switch to native today. You'll be glad you did. Hi folks, you know, fine guns and fine dog work go together. And today we have fine dog work. We're gonna be filming uh, behind some great dogs. I'm gonna be on the camera, so I'm not gonna be hunting. We're gonna be with Lloyd Murray, owner of Long Gone Kennels in Stark, New Hampshire, and Dave Hughes, great trainer. He's from Pennsylvania. We're gonna be up in Northern New Hampshire, and I'm gonna to get to film behind some uh, great bird dogs. We're gonna start out with some younger dogs, and then stay with the program because towards the end, we're gonna have Long Gone Madison, perhaps the greatest grouse dog in the country today. It's gonna to be great action, enjoy. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, the official dog food of Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever, and brought to you in part by Irish Setter by Red Wing Legendary Performance, bred for sport and available at L.L. Bean, Orvis, Ugly Dog Hunting, or your favorite Irish Setter dealer. RST, manufacturer of short chamber low pressure shot shells. Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. And On Point Kennel, providing the finest in dog training equipment. So Lloyd, uh, who do we have with us this morning? Long gone Zena. All right. Dave placed her in the Grand National Grouse Fraternity yesterday. All right, good. She's a derby, fall derby, obviously. Okay. So um, she could make some mistakes here. This is the daughter of Long Gone Madison. Good breeding. And uh, how old is that for people that don't know what derby means? Um, she was whelped in end of February of last year. So what's that get you? Could be two in February. Could be two in February. So she's <laughs> 19 months, on something on. like that. Okay. Good. Some of my best dogs placed in futurities didn't win the futurity, but placed, you know, in the bottom third, fourth, places like that, and end up being multiple champions. So hopefully this is a good prospect. Her mother didn't place in the futurity at all um, out of Michigan and has had a good career. Was braced with the dog that went on and won the Grand National. Full tilt. Full tilt, yeah. correct. Won uh, Grand with her last year. Heel. <laughs> We've got uh, snow, sleet, and rain on this trip. So you're gonna start out, you'll see snow on the ground, then you're gonna see rain on the lens, uh, then you'll see spots where there's no snow, where the rain has washed it away. So it was a pretty tough day, but we've got some great stuff ahead. <laughs> yeah. It's good work. Here's Dave Hughes giving us some good advice on training a bird dog. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. We're uh, we're hunting with this young dog, and she's learning to not run on the path. A lot of dogs that I get in for training. The guys work them out in open fields, and if you're going to grouse hunt, woodcock hunt, you got to get in the brush with these dogs. And if you notice when this dog's hunting, she's not running up down the roads or the path. She's taught to get into the cover, and that's where the birds are, and she'll get in there, she'll hunt around, 
and come out. As long as she's forward, and what I mean by forward, we want them in front of us, quartering, because that's what a grass dog should do, and hit objectives that you don't have to walk over and kick a brush pile to kick a bird out. This dog's job is to go over and point it, and then you set up to have a good shot for it. Not all the time you get a good, good shot, but we're happy if the dog handles the bird. We had a bird point a little bit ago, and just was not a situation to shoot at it. But she's had a lot of birds killed. She's a youngster. She's not even two. But if you watch how she hunts, she's in the cover all the time. She's hitting objectives, and this is what we're teaching her. When this dog's four or five years old, you'll automatically turn her loose, and her job is to find your birds by hunting in the heavy cover. And we'll take her to a trial, and she has so much prospect of her class stick a bird or two in the trial and she might win us a championship. That's what our strive is to kill birds, a hunting situation but training. And that's what I do constantly with dogs. So is that good enough? It's good enough. Okay. Thank you. Yo, honey. Yo. 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 <laughs> Off she goes. Got a point, real nice point, right here. Real nice point. You get this. How she get looks. The dog. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Looks. Keep going. Keep going. If it gets up, I'll shoot. Right. If it gets up, we'll shoot. The hunters have let me come up here so I can get her right here. She's beautiful. Her flag is real, real steady. She's got a pin bird in there. Okay. Now just hold still. Why don't you get in position to shoot there? Okay. You go in and flush it. I want you to shoot there. All right. Now that's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful. We've got hunters coming in from both edges. She stayed broke, Paul, but she doesn't have to. She's a fall derby, but we've been working on her staying steady to wing and shot. Oh, that was, I and, thought, yeah. And she stayed. She doesn't have to. But that uh, she's, uh, we insist that she does. Some won't, some they will. They worked her all summer and got that idea into her head. Yeah. Darn it. Yeah. You can't get that yeah. bird. Yeah. 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 All right, Ooh, ooh. You get it? Nah. Was it a grouse? Oh, it was a woodcock. Oh. Well, we just had a perfect point here. Just the point looked like a million dollars. I wasn't able to get up to it before the before the flush, but uh, awful nice work. Awful nice. Yeah. 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 Good job. In this upcoming sequence, I asked Dave if he prefers a dog be obedience trained before he gets it in his kennel for training. Uh, most dogs I get aren't obedience. It depends on who has the dog. I mean, most of them, uh, dogs I get in, I get a few that are obedience trained. Uh, 
you know, I, it's, it's what you want if you want the dog to heal. And, you know, the worst thing you can teach a pointing dog is to sit. And that's the worst kind I hate to get. But I don't mind teaching them heal. Uh, is there a young dog teaching obedience? Does help. But I don't teach them to sit. But heal, come when they're called, get the directions where you want them to get into and hunt for you. Like if you're walking down this road, you want them in that cover to save you from going in and then that dog covers more ground he'll find more birds doing it that way than running up and down the road but obedience i mean the heel part's fine uh heel whoa and come that's the main three but i get people that'll send dogs in that are taught to sit and that's a rough thing to go through because you make a correction on a bird the next time he's sitting down so i i Pointing dogs should not be taught to sit. There are lots of places you can bring your ram. Some of the best don't involve highways, city streets, or even pavement. Sure, you can put groceries or bring work home in the back seat, but shotguns, fishing rods, and hunting boots are more appropriate. The most awarded ram ever is at New Hampshire's Dodge Ram headquarters, Bonneville and Son. A dog may be man's best friend, but the Dodge Ram 1500 isn't far behind. Four generations, one passion. Believe in Bonneville. So Dave, what do we have here? Uh, this is a uh, English pointer, and you told the story about the guy, so let's call it a pointer. <laughs> it's a little pointer female. She won second in the North American Woodcock Futurity. She's a derby dog. We just hunted with uh, another first dog we had down was uh, Z. She's a derby. These are young dogs we're developing. We want to shoot birds for them, teach them they can't chase, teach them to hunt in the cover. Uh, she also got second in the Bill Kearns Derby this fall. She's, she's a good dog. She's owned by Dr. Roger McPherson and Susan McPherson. He runs Brittany's and he bought this dog and this is his pride and joy. He really likes this dog. He worked with her this summer. Uh, he was up here for six weeks, worked with Lloyd. Uh, taught her to get in the cover and she does real well. Most pointers are kind of a little bit idly about getting in cover but she's one you'll see that uh, wants to find birds and part of that was she was worked hard on a lot of wild birds this past summer and she just out a puppy. She's a derby, has a great future, uh, good bird dog and I've killed a few birds for her, some grass and woodcock. So we're going to give it a whirl here and see if we can get one for her. If, if uh, if I have a light snow down and I have a dog I've had trouble with that's given me a lot of unproductives, and the snow is a dead giveaway because if you go in and see grouse tracks, then you know she's pointing a running bird and how to teach her how to work it out. But if you get in there and you see uh, rabbit tracks, squirrel tracks, and that's what they're pointing, the snow's a good way of finding out, you know, what she's pointing and that. So I get a problem, dog. We put it down in the snow and watch for those tracks. Because if it's a rabbit, squirrel, turkey, I, I start doing some correcting. And that helps. So the snow is kind of a giveaway on the dog. And I like it when I have a little snow to see what they're pointing. Great point right here. Great point. Beautiful. The boys think this, this bird's running. We got the point here. They think this bird's running. Well, it could be, yeah. It could be three of them. If I don't get it up, I'll take it down. Here we go, this little 
Oh, bro, that bird must have left. Got a point here. See your boys? Yeah. Come up behind you, Dave. We need to take a short break for our sponsors. We'll be right back with more Bird Dogs Afield. Folks, it's cold weather, and during cold weather, you need the Mud River Kennel Jacket. This is what keeps your dog warm. Good boy. Get it for this winter. It's the Mud River Kennel Jacket. Hi, I'm Dave Traham with On Point Kennel. I'm a professional trainer. We work with pointy breeds and laps. We also offer training equipment for your dog. We have a full-time service online that you can order all your dog training equipment. We offer e-collars, check cords, dummies, launchers, items like that. So look us up on the web at www.onpointkennel.com. And certainly folks, here's the star of the show, Long Gone Madison. Here's another setter out of uh... The Dave Hughes Training Kennel. What do we have here, Dave? Uh, this is Long Gone Madison. She's won the Cementator and Foster Award twice. twice. Only dog to do it. Uh, she's a seven-time champion. She's been on a roll this fall. She's got two championships and two runner-ups. She's uh, around six years of age. Very automatic, great grass dog. All right. Great. Let's, let's go take a look. You see her? Oh, I see her. I don't know if I can get her here on the camera or not. Got a good... All right. Move her. Well, that's, that's a grousey piece of cover right there. Here. Yeah, but they, that bird could be right in this stuff, yep. thick stuff here. See, look here. See the old grass track? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep! See her? I haven't heard a I haven't heard the bell tinkle. You got her right there? Did you really? Yeah. No, I couldn't get the damn safe. Uh, we had a we had a perfect point. Pinder grouse. We just had the grouse fly right over Dave's head here. 
She has that champion title for a reason. Dodge has done a, a very nice job of combining a truly comfortable ride with the uh, ruggedness of a pickup truck. This is an ideal situation for the traveling sportsman. Lots of gear room here. With outstanding clearance, this flooded road provides no roadblock for the 1500. I want you to watch carefully this up, upcoming uh, sequence. Uh, if you watch in the upper right hand corner, and we're going to do this in slow motion, you'll see a grouse flush and then it's shot just as it peaks on top of the treetops and then you'll see it come down. Watch carefully. This one did. You have a picture of that? There's another bird right there. This one is shot. Okay, good. Did you get it? Oh, I think so. I don't know. But the problem is, I was following the bird down the hey. down the road. I'm, you I'm, bailed me out. I've got another bird. Okay, get ready, Paul. Get ready, Paul. I took feathers off this one. This one. I've got Here's Long Gone Madison. She's right on point there. If I can pick her up. Let me get up here and get a get a shot of Madison. Yeah, I could. Where's my hand? We can get a shot at it. Oop. Oop. <laughs> Here's a grouse dog supreme right here. This is Madison. Boy, she done a great job. She knows grouse. She knows grouse. Madison yeah. knows grouse. Boy, that was that was some kind of work there. I hope you got her head there and those birds flying. <laughs> I didn't even see it. Oh no! That's called woodcock. Jesus, I filled my pockets with shells when we came in. I got one left. That was a woodcock? Yeah. Oh. I didn't even see it. But Maybe I got it on camera. I don't know. I had a. Where'd you shoot? Did you shoot over top of Paul? Oh fuck, it was towering out over the tops of those things. I pulled up, I thought I got you, bang, and the whole tree came down. <laughs> oh dear. That's hunting popple thicket. There's Grouse Dog Supreme right here. Long gone Madison. Probably one of the greatest grouse dogs of all time. All right. Her mom and daddy were great ones. She's got she's got more birds pinned. <laughs> Grouse Dog Supreme right there. Perfect point. 
Uh, perfect flush, perfect shooting. Great job to both Matt, Long Gone Madison and Dave Hughes. Good job. Good job. <laughs> All right. I just turned the camera off and the grouse grouse flushed right in front of the dog. Actually the dog's still on point up here. Oh she had it pointed. She had this grouse pin. Lloyd's gonna go down and pick up the bird. The boys are boys are arguing here is over who hit it. There's two sets of feathers. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what it was coming down. That's a big old bird. All right. Uh, this is called heaven. What do you got down there, Lloyd? A big old bird that Madison pointed that we got a few pellets into. And fortunately, I'm going to bring it back to Maddie and let her sniff it and tell her she's a good girl. Boy, she is. She's still on point, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Long. She's pointed about. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, there's the reward. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Good job. Still right down that road, right? I turned on that sucker like William Harden Foster says oh. in his book and took it when, going away. When you went boom, I went boom, and I saw poof. Poof, clump. Well, the way we're shooting, we both got to shoot at him. You, got that? you ever read his book, Pa? Yes. I want to thank Dave Hughes and Lloyd Murray for allowing me to, to come along and film this great dog work. They're both getting ready at this time for the Grand National Championship. Thanks to Dave and Lloyd. I hope you enjoyed the program. Folks, Beautiful tail feathers, aren't they? Pheasants Forever is out there working every day for the pheasant, for you, to make sure we have this beautiful game bird around for a long time. Join Pheasants Forever today. They need your help. <laughs> Dylan and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Bird Dogs Afield. Friends, this is your complete video magazine on upland bird hunting and pointing dogs. Check back frequently on MyOutdoorTV.com for future programming. Also, you'll find additional information on our website, BirdDogsAfield.com. Friends, also support our sponsors. They help make this possible. Dylan and I hope to meet you in the field someday. Until then, good hunting, hunt safely. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food and brought to you in part by Irish Setter Legendary Boots, RST Shot Shells, Mud River Dog Products, and On Point Kennel.